Section A, Sentence Fragments. Ah, yes, our old friend's sentence fragments. Remember them? Oh, well, then maybe we should review. A sentence fragment is when you try to pass off a phrase that can't stand alone as a sentence. This can happen in three ways. One, it might be because the phrase doesn't have a noun. Two, it may be because the phrase doesn't have a verb. Or three, your phrase may be a dependent clause that's pretending to be an independent clause. Whichever one of these it is, you've got a sentence fragment on your hands. Now usually this happens when we stick a period where a comma should go. Let's take a look at one of these suckers. I adore macrame, a lost and treasured art. Do you see it? The first sentence is fine, but the second one, let's take a closer look. Aha, here's a lost and treasured art is an A positive for macrame. We know that a phrase cannot stand on its own as a sentence, so it looks like we have a dreaded sentence fragment. The best way to fix a fragment is to hook it back on to the independent clause it needs to survive. And a great way to do this is with a comma. So, to fix this sentence fragment, we could write, I adore macrame, comma, a lost and treasured art. One of the reasons it can be hard to resist the temptation of writing a sentence fragment is its frequent use in advertising. Cool, crisp, refreshing. Ah, English grammar. These are called emphatic fragments. And although they can be extremely effective in advertising, they aren't generally accepted in either business or school writing. So that's what happens when you put a period where you meant to put that comma. But what happens when you put a comma where you meant to put a period? Well, those are comma splices. Section B, comma splices. OK. See, uh, we fall here into the trap of the old comma splice when we stick two perfectly good, complete sentences together with a measly little comma. It's not pretty. Take a look. I called the witch doctor. He told me what to do. It's so tempting to link these two clauses together with a comma because they are so closely related and we don't want to mess up the flow. But check this out. Both of these clauses, I called the witch doctor and he told me what to do, are independent clauses. They can both stand on their own as sentences, so we can't join them with a comma. Let's go over that again. Grammar guide. Two independent clauses cannot be joined by a comma. However, you do have several options in fixing this sentence fragment. The easiest way to fix the problem is just to make them two separate sentences. I called the witch doctor, period. He told me what to do. Not as exciting, though, is it? It just doesn't have that flow we all love to have in our writing. So to keep that flow, let's reach into our bag of tricks. We can combine these independent clauses to form a compound sentence. Remember, to form a compound sentence, you simply hook the two independent clauses together with either a conjunction, a colon, a semicolon, or a dash. Let's try using a conjunction. I called the witch doctor, and he told me what to do. Wonderful, and all we had to do was add the conjunction and. Now let's try it with one of our forms of punctuation. Since these two clauses are closely related, we probably want to go with a semicolon here. Let's try it on for size. I called the witch doctor, semicolon. He told me what to do. In this case, the semicolon is sort of like saying and. Looks like a winner to me. There is one extra special time when you can get away with a comma splice. Say you need to fuse together three or more very short sentences. Take the following. I egg your house, you run over my bike, you get mad, I get mad, suddenly we're both screaming. Each of these short clauses can stand alone as a sentence. But because they're so short, we can get away with joining them with commas. So check your sentences to be certain you haven't connected two or more independent clauses together with a comma. Be vigilant and you will avoid the dreaded comma splice. Section C, run on sentences. You know how when some people talk, they just go on and on and on and on? Well, sometimes the sentences we write just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. We call these guys run-on sentences. A run-on sentence is an attempt to try to jam together two sentences into one without using punctuation between them. 
You know, it's kind of like a comma splice, with no comma. While run-on sentences do tend to be long, the length of a sentence does not have anything to do with whether or not it is a run-on. A run-on is a problem with the structure of a sentence, not its length. Consider the beginning of Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. A long sentence, yes, but its structure is fine. So it's not a run-on sentence, just long. Here's what a run-on looks like. I usually eat too many candy corns on Halloween and get a stomach ache. How about you? Obviously, we need to break this up into two separate sentences. I usually eat too many candy corns on Halloween and get a stomach ache. How about you? We might sometimes write a run-on sentence because we're afraid to separate two closely related thoughts. They usually happen during our first draft of writing something. If we take the time to read over our work, we can catch most run-ons. Just remember that a sentence has a subject and a predicate. Then if you find a sentence with lots of subjects and predicates, break the sentence up. A sentence fragment is a phrase that can't stand alone as a sentence. This may be because it doesn't contain a noun or because it doesn't contain a verb. Or it could be a dependent clause attempting to masquerade as an independent clause. A comma splice is when two complete sentences are joined by just a comma. There are two remedies for a comma splice. You can separate them into two freestanding sentences, or you can join them by a conjunction, a colon, a semicolon, or a dash. A run-on sentence actually contains two sentences which have no punctuation between them. Break these guys up into different sentences, or insert the correct punctuation.